See what Olusegun Obasanjo revealed about himself that many have not been aware of. I mean, it's really um, very thought-provoking that Olusegun Obasanjo will be speaking in this light and in this regard. When I saw it myself, I was wondering uh, what is up, you know. Uh, Olusegun Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, between 1999 and 2007 is speaking about possibility of death you know um we know that he's not up to 90 and for him to be speaking in this regard we don't know exactly what is up um i mean it's we we all know that a man is born one day and someday after living his life he will meet his maker but however the man made the maker is the most important thing please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time god bless you thank you so much although i have bought my ticket to meet my maker i am not ready to board yet olushegun obasanjo former president olushegun obasanjo has said that his ticket to return to his maker has been bought but he was not set to board the aircraft yet Obasanjo said this during an interview with an international institute as revealed by the former editor of the Tribune titles and colonist Festus Adedayo on Sunday. In his column headline, 100 minutes before Olusegun Obasanjo Adedayo said the interview was conducted by himself, a Kenya colleague simply known as Charity and another young lady called Dolakbo. He wrote on the column also published by the Ego Online on Sunday. We were three on the interview belt. Myself, a Kenya colleague simply named Charity, and another young lady called Dolakbo. Charity was to conduct her belt of interview virtually. When Olusha Gobasanjo was told about the arrangement, he, he reminded the crowd that he was an old man and his old age approach was not as perfect as the young man. He then continued, a friend of mine once said that old age is a disease, so I have got the disease of old age. Although I am old, I am not ready for departure. He have brought, they have bought me my ticket. But I haven't taken anything about it or thinking about boarding yet. We were almost rolling on the ground with laugh, laughter when he said this. Charity didn't even get what Obasanjo meant and asked, Are you planning to travel shortly, Your Excellency? Non-Nigerians find it hard to get our suckers in. To this, Obasanjo replied, Yes, I will travel to my maker someday. I will not take the boarding pass. I have not taken my boarding pass yet. And you know that when they buy the ticket, I will collect the boarding pass. When you get to the gate, I'm not doing that anytime soon. Then I got to the department of the lounge and all that. And that is what he said. And people just had a laugh. So that's Olusha Gwobasanjo for you. He does have a sense of humor. And then um, he spoke elaborately. I mean, had the interview with the people. But the touching thing there is the words he said that he's ready and um, this and this and that are perspective. You know, the interview is not the, is not the main point. It's not the focus here. But that he's bought his ticket. You know, we have to be careful what we say. Uh, we know that the prince of, um, I mean, the, the husband to the queen, Queen Elizabeth, um, Prince Philip, uh, you know, passed on, who was just buried. He was 99 years old. Actually, the plans for his 100th birthday was being, is on, it was in plans already. There was, you know, there was plans on ground to celebrate his 100, 100 years birthday. So, I mean, these are parts of what life is. Be careful what you say with your mouth. You know, uh, don't make silly jokes or silly jests. Be careful because your words have power. 
what you say, what you constantly hear, begin to inform what becomes, you know, your thought pattern. And your thought pattern becomes your ideas and what you begin to live by and how you begin to apply to become your principles and your character. And your character could either assume good or evil. People could either be attracted to you like a perfume, a sweet smelling perfume, or be repelled like a rot. So what you are hearing, be careful. Don't allow anybody. Don't allow anybody. Okay, I repeat, just tell you words. Don't allow anybody just, you know, put words into you or you just say anything about yourself. They say something, I say, ah, we didn't manage. No, 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 no. You might be drinking Gary now. Does not mean that that's the end of your life. No, no. There is something good about you. All you need to do, you have a determination. Change your perspective. Change your mindset. Put the right things in your heart. Hear the right words. I'm not saying deceive yourself. There is a thin line between that, okay? I'm not saying deceive yourself. But make take active, proactive steps towards doing the right thing. Towards doing the right thing, okay? Do the right thing. Uh, work hard and ensure that you are working, you are making progress towards what is going on and how you intend to change the narrative of the course of what is happening around you. Don't just sit back and do nothing and expect things to change. Get something in motion. If you want to, you know, you want to start a trade, learn about the trade, talk to people who are already in it, you know, or if you started it, what am I doing? Why am I here? How can I get better? What can I do else? What else can I introduce? How else can I serve my customers? I mean, these are things, but never say, ah, uh, not nah, so good thing. When good thing they happen to people, you know, they reach. Uh, how can you say that about yourself? Would they manage? Manage what? No. Nigeria, if, even if the cost of living in Nigeria becomes a million naira, I want you to know that your case is different and you will live well and even enjoy even better. So please, don't join the group of people that talk down on themselves and wash themselves down. And don't stay around people who, you know, make you feel down and put you down. It's not good for you. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.